Hey guys and welcome to another custom ROM preview and installation tutorial. This here is the LG G6 and you can see it's running quite a stock Android looking Google Pixel feeling ROM. This is the Aquarios or Aquari OS Android 8.1 Oreo. I've been running it for a couple of days now with no hiccups, it's proven to be stable and quick, and it comes with a set of personalization op options we'll go through now. Here you can play with power menu and reboot options. Moving on, here are some navigation bar tweaks. And here you can change the volume rocker behavior. Then you have lock screen options, status bar options like clock options, you can see I've enabled seconds. You can toggle status bar icons on and off. You can then play with notifications, well clearly not the LED notifications on this phone, but hey. You can also enable home screen rotation, which I quite like, and it actually looks nice. You can check out apps in split screen mode, of course. Quick toggle is quick, as is everything else. Scrolling through the menus and options, opening apps and using the phone in general is fast and pleasant. One thing you'll basically always find lacking when using a custom ROM is the camera app. Although you can install Open Camera from Play Store, I've used that a bit and it's quite nice, I haven't tested it for real so I can't say much more, but this here you're seeing is the Google Camera app which you get pre-installed on this ROM. The menus are very up to date with current stock Android versions. One thing I do have to mention is that if you want the fingerprint scanner to work, you need to be coming from Nougat to installing this ROM. As I was already on LG's Oreo firmware, I've actually downgraded it to Nougat and then installed this ROM. I've tried installing it after running stock Oreo and the fingerprint security option was nowhere to be found. And speaking of that, let's get onto the installation part. You will need TWRP recovery installed on your phone and Aquarios and GApps zip files transferred over to your phone's internal memory or external SD card. We'll now boot to TWRP recovery by holding the volume down button, then pressing and holding the power button. When you see the LG logo, quickly release and then press and hold the power button again, keeping volume down press down the whole time. If you have TWRP properly installed, select and confirm factory data reset, that will actually take you to recovery. And here we are. As usual, first we need to wipe some stuff before we can install the new ROM. So we select wipe, advanced wipe and check art cache system data and cache not wiping internal storage. Swipe to wipe, wait a couple of seconds for it to be over and head back to main recovery menu. Now select install and browse to find the zip files. 
you can have them in the internal storage or you can see here I have them on the external SD memory card. Select the custom ROM file and you can select add more zips right away or wait for the ROM file to be flashed to add the GApps zip file later. When you're ready, swipe to confirm flash and lean back. It's gonna take a while. It took less than a minute to finish installing the ROM file and almost 5 further minutes to flash the stock version of GApps. Smaller sets of Google Apps will take less time. You are now ready to select Reboot System. First boot will take a bit longer, up to 5 minutes, but there's this cute boot animation to look at. Now you're ready to set up the phone for use and start running Aquari OS on your device. You can see the look and feel of the menus is a bit different than it was in the beginning of this video. You can choose background color theme in the display settings menu. And that's it for today's video, hope you liked it, stay subscribed for more stuff like this and until the next video, goodbye.